The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. There we go, it looks a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. They rebuilt Mendoir. It wasn't the same. They'll never forget. All we can hope is that they grow stronger for it. So yeah, it looks a lot prettier than it did last time we were here, because last time we were here it was on fire and sort of all red. And attentive listeners will note that this is the original background music of the first Eden Prime mission. Which would be a nostalgic trip, but I really don't actually like this track very much, so... Bleh. Let's just get out there and get it solved. So there is a main... Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. Good. Oh, so there is a uh, a main mission to do, and there is a side mission that involves gathering intel to help the apparent rebellion of this planet that we never see. But not everyone is just falling under Cerberus's heel. Some are trying to fight back. And there you go. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colonel. Col col and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there'd be no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. So there are three terminals to find. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. So we better find them before we do the mission. Before we finish the mission, anyway. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, Finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, 
Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! And this is the original fight music as well. So, Cerberus is here. But we're not going to get used to it. We are going to make him go away. Nemesis. They are an unusually powerful enemy to see so early. We will actually see them in the rest of the game for a while. But they are snipers. And on higher difficulties, they are quite deadly. So, you better watch out. All right. Now to run around randomly and haphazardly until all three terminals are found. Only then will I even consider advancing the plot. Is this one of them? Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. They read Sun Tzu's Art of War, I see. Make the enemy think you are weak when you are actually strong. Make the enemy think you are strong when you are actually weak. It is sound, solid, and probably why... It still gets red thousands of millions of years later. So, we have one less terminal to find. Oh, but there are still Cerberus on this planet. I'd almost forgotten about you, you're so insignificant. It's the end of you. Oh dear. Oh, and there you go! Resistance information update. We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Gambiart to escape, firing near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero, and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Alright, with that done... It's time to kill people! No. Know your place, trooper. You'll notice there's no longer any hacking minigames in this game, which is great. You just sort of have to stand there for a bit and it's done. Which makes me wonder why they even bother with that. But I suppose then at least it's a... Uh, you've got to clear the room before you do it, or you get a shot. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Well, let's study it in order to find out the same thing. Okay. Keep an eye out for goodies. Looks like there's no goodies in this room. Let's push this doodad. Cypher mode activated.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Okie dokie do. So that was our first glimpse at the true unaltered Prothean race. They look kind of delicious. They look like fish people. Their heads in particular looks like you could cut some nice flanks off of that and just do it up with some sauce. Ah, oh. but maybe they're not actually as fish-like as they look. Maybe I'm just being disgusting. It's just my personal opinion that as a people, they look pretty tasty. Alright. What's going on here? Any creds I can take? See, I know I haven't explored every building. Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. Ah! young little upstarts. Is that the last of you all trying to be clever? No. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to murderize you. How are you still alive? There we go. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. What lab? Let's have a look in here. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. They were having drinks and watching the game while wearing full armor, helmets included? Fair enough. That would be so awkward. How do they drink? How do they physically consume these drinks? God. Alliance soldiers do not know how to have fun. Anyway, I believe you told me about a lab. I'm going to go with the one that has the word lab on it. Yes? No? Maybe? Some credits. That's what I always wanted. And there you go. Let's have a look at the second video. See what the Protheans are up to.